is we need to realize that some of the processes we've been talking about in terms of what happens to jobs, they are only accelerating. Because I think that we're at a moment when the technology revolution is actually accelerating in terms of its impact on a lot of jobs. And Rich alluded to that. You know, in 25 years, how many people are going to have a job as a truck driver? Um, there is a great Canadian company outside Regina called Seedmaster that is developing a self-driving tractor platform. Um, my dad's a farmer, so he thinks it's great. Um, but, you know, that's another place. We're going to see fewer jobs. I think that AI is going to start moving into, again, as Rich alluded, into a lot of the service jobs. Maybe CEOs will be wiped out, too. Uh, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> um, you know, so that is going to make people anxious. Don't get us too optimistic. And, <laughs> and we need to that's wrong. That's be wrong. thinking about a plan for people. We need to be sure that we offer people hope, that we offer people confidence, and we offer them assurances that government is going to be there to be with them in this process, because no one knows where it's going to lead. And also, and here I am, like, really reassured to hear you guys, um, that business leaders, that the people who are the winners from all of these transformations, actually understand they have a responsibility to everybody else. And that is a really important transformation. A couple of you guys have referred to, you know, moving away from the idea that your only responsibility is to your shareholders. And I think that is a crucial shift, and it's something which is pretty new. I think it's something that we really need to support, because this is going to this is going to be a, a really big, it already is, and I think it will become an even more complicated transition. And the societies and the countries that succeed are going to be the ones that are realistic about the challenge where there is a really united team spirit about meeting it.